in appreciation of the effort of fallen heroes to the national security. President Bola Tinubu has approved the son of 18 billionaire for the payment of insurance and other entitlements of servicemen who lost their lives in the course of operations. Crisis exhibited by men and women of our armed forces in the campaign against insurgents. I am confident we shall continue to battle and decisively defeat all the security challenges. I wish to assure Nigerians that my administration will continue to reposition and strengthen all Nigerian security agencies. It's a commitment that we must take seriously. Our foremost objective is to provide a conducive environment free from threats and criminalities to enable all who reside within our borders to thrive and live in peace. Minister of Defense Muhammad Badaru Abubakar reiterated the invaluable contribution of ex service personnel and war veterans to the survival and continued existence of Nigerian states. He said the present administration, through the service headquarters, is committed to training armed forces combatants towards the discharge of their duties. The Nigerian military veterans, officers, and men of the armed forces have made and continue to make enormous sacrifices for the peace and security of our homeland. Likewise, they have contributed to the maintenance of peace in the, wo in the world through their participation in peace support operation. In some of those operations, Nigerian contingents have excelled to the admiration of the world. Faced with merit of obscurity challenges in our motherland, our armed forces is working in concert with other security agencies to restore normalcy to the Nigerian multifaceted security challenges. The high point of the occasion was the launch of 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day emblem by the leadership of the National Assembly and the head of security and intelligence agencies. The Nigerian Armed Forces Remembrance Day is marked on January the 15th annually to commemorate the nation's fallen heroes. From State House Abuja, Hassan Umar Farouk for Liberty.